Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have something pretty exciting I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I have discovered a children's theology program called Little Pilgrim's Theology. I know a lot of you guys are homeschooling for the first time, or maybe you're just starting to get really serious about training your kids and discipling your children. And this is a resource that once I discovered it, I completely fell in love with it. And I think it is a solid curriculum. It is theologically sound and doctrinally sound. And it's something that is really easy to use and thorough. It's also something that children understand very easily and it doesn't water down the truth of God's word. So Little Pilgrims Theology has a subscription-based service where they provide you with downloads, free downloads for coloring pages and for work pages and also for videos that they supply to go along with the lessons. I have been doing a monthly subscription for months now. I think like six or eight months or something like that. And it's something that I've really enjoyed with my kids. Instead of throwing on a YouTube video, I will pull up Little Pilgrim's Theology and let my kids sit there and watch that for a half an hour instead of watching um, endless YouTube videos that don't have any substance at all. So recently I had tagged Little Pilgrim's Theology on Instagram and I was showing them how I was using my Little Pilgrim's Theology work pages and stuff like that with my children. I have five children that are eight, seven, five, three, and two and they all are able to get something out of it. So you have the option with Little Pilgrim's Theology to either purchase their pre-printed workbooks and pre-spiral bound workbooks, which is what this is. This has come in plastic wrap. They sent this one to me. This is the church history lesson. And this one is the basics of the faith. This is what I'm doing with my children right now. What I did was, I know not everybody has um, a laminating machine, uh, a printer that can print like this on two sides of the paper, or um, a spiral binder. That's something that I just recently invested in this year. Anyway, if you don't have that, they do offer the pre-printed, pre-bound version of these books. I downloaded each of the pages with my subscription and then just printed them off and printed copies for each of my children. So having multiple children, I have five, I print off five copies and it is something that paying for the subscription once, I can print five copies off. So that's something that I found that was really budget friendly to do with a family that are a bunch of children homeschooling. So today I'm gonna show you just a little bit of how I use Little Pilgrim's Theology. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that they sent me. Um, I actually reached out to them on Instagram because I had been tagging them so much and I said, hey, I have a YouTube channel. I don't really use my YouTube channel for very much, but I think that this is exactly the kind of thing that people who watch my videos would absolutely love and I would love to share it you guys. So in talking with Jeanette, um, I found out that this Little Pilgrim's Theology was started by her and her husband. It is now a full-time ministry that they do together, that he works full-time on this and they are able to support their family with four children at home, homeschooling with him doing Little Pilgrim's Theology and her helping. And I just think that is so awesome. I couldn't even believe that it was made by a mom and dad who had little kids. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some pictures of them and possibly pop in some parts of um, a little podcast that they have shared too with me so that you could get a little bit of the background and how it came to be. Um, I will have all of these things linked below too. And um, yeah, so let's just get into this. I'm gonna show you guys how I use them. And like I said, the different ways that you can use them. I reached out to them and asked them if I could share their stuff. So they have sent me these things for free. They did not pay me to make this. I loved them already. The reason I asked them to send me other things because I do have a subscription. So I already pay for it. I could download it, but I wanted to be able to show you guys um, some of the other things that they offer if you wanna order them and not print them at home. So I could have gotten these things already within my subscription and I could have printed them off myself. Um, but they were so gracious to send them to me so that I can show them to you and I can show you working with my children through these lessons and using their videos and using their app. So one of the things that they sent me is these workbooks for church history and I'm going to show them to you. I told her that I print off six copies for myself so so this is my copy that I made and sometimes kids color in them but we watch a video and then we will go through and we will answer the questions. So there's application questions and then there's study questions. So I printed off the coloring page and the application and the studying question um, for every single one of the lessons in the basics of the faith. So for example, this one is my two-year-olds. So I just give her the same thing that we are working on 
and you know she does it to the best of her ability and really it's just something that keeps her busy while we are doing our lesson she can pay attention to the video just fine but she's obviously not writing yet and she can't um answer the questions and whatnot but it does give her something to do and color go ahead baby so i write their names on each one so just to give you an example this is my five-year-olds and again every single one of them i have spiral bound and we go through each of the lessons together and it's going to look different for each one did you write that mm -hmm. good job so at each different age level there's a different ability um for things that they can do with these but definitely they get something out of it so then we also go through the memory verse for each of the videos um here is my three-year-olds wesley do you want to flip through do you have any more that you colored mm -hmm. oh yeah you're good at coloring huh this is my seven-year-olds again they each have different levels that they can complete and different things that catch their interest. So this is what it looks like when a seven-year-old colors. I think, yeah, we've done the Ten Commandments. That's what his looks like. And this is my eight-year-old, who obviously is the most proficient in reading and writing. And he also can color while we watch the video. We watch the video a few times, just like it says, and then we go through the lessons together. And again, he's able to color in whatever way he wants. And then we go through the lessons. So Jeanette sent me two different lessons that they have. This is the ABC Theology. I'm so excited to do this one. Um, I started printing it off and it has like your recommended lesson guide and it shows what to do and how to do it. And then um, there's also quizzes on the app, which I will show you. I'll do a screen record and I'll show you how I use the app too. In each of the coloring pages. So I told Jeanette that I print off six copies, one for me and one for each of my children and explained to her how I use them. And again, she's a mom of four and so she definitely has little kids and understands what it means to, what it means to give little hands something to do so that they're not eating erasers. Um, so what she did is she sent me one for each of my children and then an extra copy for myself so there's four and then for the kids the younger ones she sent she sent the coloring pages that go along with it so i'll be able to give my younger children coloring pages that go along with the lesson so they will still be occupied and i don't have to print off the whole book and they'll still have something that they really like so this is an option if you want to get these to go along with the videos so that your kids can color while they watch depending on their age um, now I'm going to show you how we watch the video and how we go through the lesson. So this is just a little overview of their site. Right now, I am logged in to my subscription, so I can go to the shop, the settings, all the things, and you can go down. And we are currently working through the basics of the faith. So right now, this is the lesson plan that I am going through. We've done all of these so far. And we are going to do... We did what is sin and we're going to do what is the chief end of man. See the way they have everything set together. It's very well organized and you also can use an app, but I use this on my computer so that we can all watch it together. So I hit what is the chief end of man and we're going to have everyone open their pages to their books to that next page. So now everyone's going to open their coloring page so they can color as open to this page, Wes. Go to the next page, bud. Yep. Flip the other way. Other way. Yep, one more the other way. Other way? Keep going, one more. No, one more. Flip over the page you have open. Yep. Did you find it? Nope, next one. Keep flip. To, oh, you want to color that one? Okay. So, that's what we're doing. Okay, so as you can see, this is me using the app, and I just wanted to give you a really quick flip through on how it's set up and just how incredibly easy it is to use. So I'm going through and just showing you the lesson that we did today. 
So showing you the scripture memory page, um, the coloring page, and then also showing you the quizzes on here just so that you can see um, how in-depth, but also how easy it is to use um, for children. But you could also do this as a guided lesson with children who can't read yet. Um, so it is very well set up and also not fluffy at all. I think all of these truths that they are teaching and sharing are solid truths and definitely something that I want to take the time to impart into my kids versus just having them sing little songs here and there. Um, I just feel like this is so much more in depth and really so much more worth the time that you put into it. And it's so thorough and it's just so well done. So I just wanted to take the time and show you through this. So you can go ahead and watch the rest as I'm flipping through different um, studies and showing you all the different lessons that they have so far. And I believe that they're still adding all the time. It, I'm sure it takes a long time to do this, but the ABC theology is where we're going next after the basics of the faith. And I'm really excited myself. Little Pilgrim's Theology is also a really awesome resource on Instagram. I just wanted to quickly flip through here and show you the constant, solid, daily truth that they share. So I would encourage you to go follow them over there. I will link them below. Um, I just also wanted to go through their About Us section so that you guys can sit and watch that. They have a little highlight about them and this is a picture of their family. This is Brandon and Jeanette and their four children. And these are the people behind Little Pilgrim's Theology. And I just think that is so awesome. And I just wanted you to hear about them from them, their own uh, videos here in their Instagram. Romans chapter 10, verse says, 4 says, For Christ is the end of the law of righteousness to everyone who believes. Resistible mm. grace. He saved us. No one on the basis of deeds. We have done in righteousness by going to his mercy, by the washing of regeneration, healing by the Holy Spirit. Titus 3 verse 5. Mm -hmm. What is justification? What's the verse for it? Romans 3 verse 28 says, We will maintain that a man is justified by faith upon from the works of law. Clearly a toddler has drawn on mine. That's okay. So we'll go through each of the questions. What is the chief end of man? Enjoy him, Enjoy him forever. Yep. So this says, some people search an entire lifetime and never find the true answer to the question, what is the purpose of life? Why do you think this is something humans search for innately? Mommy, those, those things that got do you think everybody out. wonders why we're here? Yeah. Yep. It's common to hear people say things like, you only live once, live it up, to justify sin. Can you explain how this is a flawed thought? Is it wrong to say that you should just do whatever you want? Yes. 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 Why? Because what are we supposed to do? Believe in, Jesus. Believe in Jesus. Yes, but what is the chief end of man? To glorify God. Enjoy him. Enjoy him. So what is the memory verse? Whether then you eat or drink. Thirty-one. Okay, Nani, let me have your 
Let me have that. Okay, we're gonna all do it together. So I want you guys all to look. Listen to me, please. Sit down. Plus, we're gonna do it together. Whether then you eat or drink. Whatever you do. Whatever you do. Do all to the glory of God. First Corinthians. Ten thirty one. All right, good job. You found some candy that wasn't yours. If you were going to say, what could I do that would bring the most glory to God? What would I do if I found candy that wasn't mine? Not take it. Not, Not take, take it? Take it. And you could find the person that, that lost it and give it to them. Yep. Yeah, read Romans, Romans, chapter, Romans chapter 6. Do you think you can read the whole chapter? I need Listen, this Bible's a little different than yours. Yes. Boy. Okay, Romans yes. chapter 6. I drove mine a girl. Down here. Can I see it? Listen, guys. How about read this whole section? What shall we say then? Remember? Shall we continue in sin? What grace may be abound? God forbid, how shall we that are dead in sin live any longer therein? Therein, yeah. As no, you're right here. Use your finger. Know ye not? Know ye not that so many? I hope you guys enjoyed that overview of Little Pilgrim's Theology. It is such a comprehensive teaching tool that is super great for kids. Um, I'm going to include a few clips of different videos that I've watched with the kids and just to give you an idea of the graphics. Um, Brandon, the husband, part of the duo is the guy who makes all the graphics and does the voiceover, which I thought was so cool. A is for atonement. Atonement is the work of God to deal justly with our sin and deserved wrath through Jesus' death on the cross so that we can have eternal life. You see, there's a problem. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. In Romans chapter 6 says for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. 2 Corinthians says he made him who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. 1 Peter says, and he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sin and live to righteousness for by his wounds you were healed. You see, Jesus' death on the cross satisfied the wrath God has for our sins. Problem solved. A is for atonement. Atonement is the work of God to deal justly with our sin and the wrath we deserve through Jesus' death on the cross so that we can have eternal life. And this is good news. I found that out. Um, again, this is a husband and wife team that do this and they created it out of necessity for their own kids and they share it as a ministry and it is a ministry that keeps them home full time and that is so awesome and I just wanted to share it first of all because I love it. I use it with my own kids. I think it's awesome and second of all because I think they're awesome and I just wanted to support them. So please go check them out. I will leave the links down below. They have subscriptions that you can buy. You can buy their product as well. Again, I have a subscription myself that I pay for and I use it myself with my kids. I've already my kids myself and again they sent me extra things so that I could show you the other things that they have that I had not yet purchased yet. So I will definitely use them and I'm really looking forward to it and I just appreciate you guys watching and going to check them out. I know you guys are going to love it too. Thanks guys. Bye.